When it comes to closing the deal, it's not just about having an impressive portfolio, it's about how you engage with your potential clients. So I put together seven tried and true tips for sealing the deal and making every pre-shoot discussion a success. Number one, a FaceTime meeting. In today's digital age, a personal connection is still king. A face-to-face -face meeting is key, but if you can't meet face-to-face, -face, meet online via Zoom. Being seen and seeing your client allows you to build rapport and trust Trust. Seeing each other's expressions and reactions creates a more personal connections than emails or phone calls. Use this time to understand your prospects' needs and express how you can meet them. Number two, time changes. Flexibility is a sign of professionalism. So be willing to accommodate your potential client's schedule within reason. If they need to reschedule or they prefer a different time for the shoot or for your meeting, it shows that you can adapt, which speaks volumes about your work ethic and your customer service. But also, don't you be afraid to change a time. If a suggested time doesn't work for you, say so. A photographer that's infinitely available is not a photographer that's in demand. Don't be afraid to say, hey, the time doesn't work for me. I have a session that day. Can we talk Thursday? It shows that when you're booked, you're singularly focused. You don't overbook yourself and you treat all your clients equally. Number three, smile. Never underestimate the power of a smile. It's the universal sign of friendliness and openness. Smile during all of those interactions. It helps put your clients at ease and it sets a positive tone, which makes your clients more receptive to those ideas, whoever you are. Whatever your smile looks like, you actually have to use it. Check your teeth if you're in person. <sighs> Make sure you have fresh breath and good hygiene. I actually can't believe I have to say that, but I've come across too many bad breath, close talking, rude, bad body odor photographers. You don't need to worry about them, but do know that people that you meet in person are assessing you from head to toe and they have access to all their senses. You only get one chance to make a first impression. Make sure that you meet them all. Fresh breath and a fresh smile. Number four, ask the right questions. Asking questions not only helps you gather information, but it demonstrates your interest in your client's needs. Inquire about their vision, the purpose of the project, what their desire outcome is and any concerns that they might have. This will help you provide a more tailored service and shows the client that you're fully engaged. You could take it one step further and ask them if they've had good or bad experiences with photographer in the past. Learn what irks them about the shooters that they've used before and use this influence to change how you work. Number five, give ideas. Clients often look for guidance even if they have a concept in mind. Offering creative ideas or suggestions for their project shows that you're engaged and invested in providing the best results. It also establishes your expertise and creativity, which reinforces why they should choose you in the first place. Sometimes your client's ideas are going to be whack, but they still need photography. Please don't shoot their whack ideas, their whack poses, or their whack concepts, especially if they're not in the know. Do your best to steer them towards what's happening today and what's happening at the highest level by sharing references in your own work or the work of the photographers that you admire. The only way that your work is going to get better is by stopping shooting your subject's bad ideas. Start by having great ideas on your own, which starts from you looking at the right references and the right photographers. Regular people do not know what to do on camera, which means you have to. If you don't know how to direct your brand new subject, your session is gonna be an exercise in futility. Look at magazines, watch videos of photographers more experienced than you shooting and directing models. I have videos of me shooting and directing models right here on my channel. Number six, enthusiasm. Passion is infectious. When you're discussing potential projects, let your enthusiasm for the photography shine through. Enthusiasm shows the client that you love what you do and that you'll bring this energy to their project. It can make the difference between a client who's on the fence and one who's absolutely ready to sign off. Your lack of enthusiasm is a sure sign that you're going to be a pill to deal with, painful to negotiate with, and not a fun time on any session. You don't need to be over-enthusiastic psycho, but you do need to be into it. Number seven, passion. Passion is more profound than enthusiasm. It's the driving force behind your work. I'm more passionate than most about making photographs and passion is contagious. I often share stories about past projects, which shows why I love photography and it lets my clients see the dedication behind my craft. When a client sees that you're passionate about not just photography but their specific project, it builds confidence in your skills. My passion for photography inspires constant
constantly learning and constantly improving even after 40 years of making photographs. Passion is a driving force and passion for progress and success makes discipline, that's pretty easy. Your two main goals should only be this, building a connection and delivering value. Closing the deal goes beyond just showcasing your portfolio. It's about building a connection with your client, understanding their needs and sharing the value that you bring. With these seven tips, you can enhance your approach, which will make a lasting impression on your potential clients and increase your success rate when it comes to closing deals. Remember, every client interaction is an opportunity to not just sell your services, but to build a relationship that could lead to more work and more referrals. If you're new, by the way, to negotiations and you want to get the most that you can for the projects that you get, make sure you watch this video next. I'll get into the three magic words that you need to ask potential clients in order to maximize your income. This video will change how you negotiate with your clients forever. I'll see you on that one. Thanks so much for watching.